Hey everyone, so tonight will be the end of my second box apparently. This is going quick, like I don't even, I, can't, I didn't even know it was going to be the end of week two already. So um, today was my doctor's appointment, first doctor's appointment since starting the medicine. Um, last doctor's appointment I was 100 pounds, um, before that I was 95, so I'm gaining weight, which is really, really good. Um, I lost 65 pounds when I got sick, so I'm trying to put that weight back on. Um, anyway, so I'm 102, which is really great. In two weeks, I need to go for labs, and in three weeks, I go for my doctor's appointment to see how those labs are. Today wasn't much. He just asked me if I've been having side effects, which... I haven't been feeling any, I mean, good side effects, mentally. Um, I think I just a big, huge weight is lifted off my shoulders, so I just feel great. School's going great, work's great. Thinking about applying for a car, so that's cool. I mean, we've got a car, but I want to raise my credit, so trying to work on things little by little. I was really afraid of, I just started a new job last month, and so... The semester started last month, so I was really worried about starting medicine at the same time that all this other stuff started, you know, and um, I thought it was going to affect me, I thought I was going to be tired, so far none of that, um, maybe I'm sleeping through, like I said in my last video, I might be sleeping through my side effects, I don't know, I don't know if they takes a while for them to come on or if they just happen. Um, right after taking the medicine. I'm not sure. Anybody starting medicine though, make sure you freaking eat. Oh my gosh, make sure you eat. Um, yeah, for sure. And so I asked my doctor too because there's been times, you know, my alarm will go off. Here's my medicine. Last box tonight. There's been times where like my alarm will go off and I'll be like, shoot, I haven't ate, so I need to eat. And then I'll take my medicine like, 10 minutes late or something, asked my doctor if that was okay, and he said yes, as long as it's like within the hour or two of the usual taking it time, that it's okay, so that was really good to know. Um, I was going to do something like save up all the boxes and be like, this is what $80,000 worth of medicine looks like in the U.S., like to make a point, make some art project out of it or something. But I decided not to do that. Because I've got too much stuff anyways. I'm a hoarder. I'm not going to be keeping my empty boxes. But, so if you guys haven't taken the medicine yet, this is my medicine. There's multiple, you know, there's Epclusa, Harvani, Mavret. Um, those are the top three that I know of. There's probably more. Um, I just wanted to say, like, you know, if you're scared of treatment or, you know, if you heard all the horror stories about interferon or if I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but the stories, the horror stories from back in the day, I was so afraid to start my medicine because I was just like, oh my God, I don't want to have to like quit my job, um, things like that, you know, but I have a really good support system, so that's good, um, I found these Facebook groups after, actually, I went through my toughest times, which would have been really cool to have found these groups beforehand, because at first, like, I felt super alone, um, super ashamed, really thought people were just going to be looking down on me, things like that, and as soon as I started making my vlogs, of course, I found my support groups, but that's okay. Love you guys anyways. Um, I really want to be there. If anybody has questions, you know, message me, contact me, get a hold of me if you want to talk. Um, I don't know. I have heard other people have side effects, but not that they're so extreme that it interrupts their day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't know if y'all read the inserts with your medicine or if you guys have looked up medicines and gotten inserts mailed to you. Because you can do that. Like, I contacted AbbVie. Back here, it says, right there, AbbVie, that's the company that makes this medicine, right? And if you can't afford 
the medicine. They have this thing called patient assistance program. You'll get a nurse ambassador, things like that. And if you prove to them, like, you have no way to pay for the money, they'll help you. They will at attempt to help you the to the best of their ability to get you this medicine for free or very low cost. Um, I ended up getting applied or getting approved for state insurance, Medi-Cal here in California is what it's called, before any of that ever went through. But they were in the works of helping me, you know. Um, there are programs. There are ways if you're broke, because I'm poor, like... I live paycheck to paycheck, just like, you know, half of America, so I know what it's like thinking. I had my pharmacy call me and tell me I was going to have to pay $20,000 to be able to pick for them to even order my medicine, and that was really hard for me to hear because I was like, I don't want my family to have to pay for this because, you know, I did this to myself when I was in my drug use, um, things like that, you know, I just wanted, I needed to figure out a way for this to happen without it affecting my family because I did it to myself. I didn't want to put that burden on them, but anyways, this video's getting a little long, so I'm going to say good night. Take my medicine tonight and I will post another vid in a week. Maybe in between then if anything happens, you know. So click subscribe, comment below, hit the like button. Let me know what you guys want to know, any questions. Alright, have a good night.